on my face takes me to a place I could live forever. There troubles disappear in this atmosphere. Everyone's at peace. There is a softness in the air. Like the caressing of a child's downy hair. Come rest beside me now. It can be somehow if we just believe. Words that we never say, songs we never play, in that place we'll hear them. There we've no need to fear, consciences are clear. Hello, Old Nation. Uh, good to see our family and friends back with us this day. And Father Fred, good to have you. This is not Colorado weather. I, <laughs> I, I know I have moved. <laughs> yes, you have definitely moved. And, uh, and, and somebody said you were going to stay as long as it didn't get humid. But that's only like two weeks. <laughs> that might be this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work that way. <laughs> You're going to have to get used to humidity again. Oh, so, man. Yeah. We're going to read Noonday Prayers, and actually in our, in our congregation today, we have one person, because Shally Lindo is all the way at the back of the church. She's been working the last two hours to give out communion kits and palms to people who are going to worship with us from home on this weekend. So, uh, and, and the next two hours, uh, Vicki Dorsett will be out there. So if you're looking for communion kits or for a palm for Palm Sunday, uh, stop by between now and two, and you'll get them. Okay? Now, you'll need the Episcopal password to get That's right. communion. And the Episcopal password is, I don't know that hymn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We will uh, begin with noonday prayers on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. And we've put the psalm and, uh, and gospel reading in your, um, in your uh, feed on Facebook. This is March 25, which is the Feast of the Annunciation to Mary. So we'll be focusing on that. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to and the to Son and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. And we are going to be reading from Psalm 85, beginning in verse 7. We'll read by half verse, and uh, 7 through 13. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying. For he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him. That his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity. And our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him. And peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the, and the Son, and to the, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Mary said, with all my heart I glorify the Lord. In the depths of who I am I rejoice in God my Savior. He has looked with favor on the low status of his servant. Look, from now on everyone will consider me highly favored because the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. 
He shows mercy to everyone from one generation to the next who honors him as God. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered those with arrogant thoughts and proud inclinations. He has pulled the powerful down from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty-handed. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, remembering his mercy, just as he promised our ancestors to Abraham and to Abraham's descendants forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Good words from St. Mary, huh? Isn't that a wonderful... Uh, refreshment here in the in the midst of Lent yeah. you know just as we um, finish up Lent and head into Holy Week and see through to to Good Friday the, yeah. the sadness of the story that that buried right here in the end of Lent is this little nugget of hope right of a promise of what uh, what is to come the Annunciation to Mary is it always makes me think of Julian of Norwich, you know, yeah. found all right. of creation in the hazelnut. Right. The, everything was, was everything packed was, in. was packed in to something mm. that is and will be right. uh, and right. is to come. The, yeah. Yeah. That whole idea that, um, that Julian has of uh, see God's promise right. Is so great, yet it can be contained in this little this, tiny nut. This, and so this little Jewish girl, right, praying in the temple, or so Mary is essentially the same thing. Uh, she acts out mm -hmm. what Julian remembers later on in the promise of God about what's what's to come, and and I think uh, you know it is. It is so true. Oftentimes we have lots of things to, to say about Mary in all kinds of different aspects, um, and some want to focus on one or another. But I like on this day, when we hear the Annunciation, as you say, as we're coming mm -hmm. to the close of Lent, I hear in Mary maybe our best example of faithful response to God what a true disciple is right. to be, right? Which is the essence of sainthood. Um, Mary is not some special endowed person. Mary is in the scriptures when we actually get to read the Bible closely. Mm -hmm. We understand that Mary has all of her foibles. Right. She gets the, some things right. She gets some things wrong. Uh, remember the time she gets Jesus' brothers and says, we got to go get Jesus. Go get yeah. he's, he's embarrassing the family. Right. Uh, he's got all these radical ideas, and he's stirring up people, and he's, uh -huh. he's going to give us a bad name in the town. Right. Right? right. Uh -huh. But despite all the things where she sometimes gets Jesus wrong, when it really gets down to it, the heart of a disciple is the ability to say yes when you're not sure what yes means. When you think even that it might actually be the wrong choice. I know that too well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's your story some ways? In some ways, that's my story. The, yeah, uh, yeah. story of uh, ordination when God said, this is what I want you to do. I'm taking you somewhere, but if I told you where, you wouldn't go. That's right. <laughs> so... <laughs> that's the Peter story. That's the Peter story. And it's it? also the Mary story. It's also, as we were talking earlier, it's also the Abraham story. Yes. Right? It is. It is. It's, over it's, and over. It's, it's the trust me and, yep. and be a disciple. Yep. I don't know where you're going to go, but I want you to say yes. All right. Because some aspect of God's plan is dependent upon us taking a risk. Mm-hmm going out, looking at the world. Mary's song is one of radical, revolutionary. She's got girl power. Yeah. <laughs> Before anybody thought of girl power. Uh, here she is, maybe a 13-year-old girl. Right. God says, I'm going to put inside of you the seed, right. that little nugget. The little hazelnut. 
That's why yeah. today is, is yeah. the Feast of the Annunciation is literally nine months from March 25 right. to December 25. Uh -huh. And he says, I'm going to plant a seed in you that is going to mm -hmm. overthrow the rulers of this world, that the rich will be sent away empty, the poor and the oppressed will be set free, but it depends upon Mary being willing to say, okay, I don't think this is really possible. <laughs> but how can this be? Right. I'm just a child. I'm just a girl. Just, just, just a, a young girl. Yeah. Yeah. I have but no husband. No husband. And God says, trust me, right. say yes, and then watch because we are going to do something great as long as you're willing to participate. Participate. I think it, what a way to wrap up Lent and, and just check and compare our own discipleship and willingness yep. to say yes uh, to this story today. It's, yep. uh, it's interesting that it comes this year at the, uh, the end of Lent and reminds us of that cruciform promise of right. following God and reaching out to one another. Right. As we come to the close of Lent, it's a good look back on how did we do in our... Well, and especially in our situation where we are starting to be able to reach out to one another in a way that has been mm -hmm. really not safe for so long, but right. yet today... Today we have an audience of yeah. one. We have an audience of one, and we can start doing some of the things that we right. know we're called to do. So mm -hmm. when God says yes is your answer, right. what will your real response be? <laughs> How can it be? <laughs> <laughs> How can it be? What are you asking me to do? <laughs> All of those are the way we might think. And if we follow Mary as an example of what it means to be faithful, our answer will be. Our answer will be there. And it's, it's in the collect for the Annunciation yep. as well. Pour your grace into our hearts, O oh Lord, okay. that we may have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary. May by his cross and passion be brought unto the glory of his resurrection, resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Yes. Now and forever. So may the incarnation happen within us right. so that we have the courage and the use of our talents to go out and do God's work. Amen. Amen. Let's continue on with our prayers. On page 106, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will, will be done, done on earth, earth as, as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving, and we pray especially on this day continuing prayers for the victims and families of the shooting in Boulder as well as Atlanta, for Katie Byrne, for John Harris, for Yvette Gormley, Pat Benton, Marilyn Burstein, Carl Sturzing, Sid Kilgore, Stephanie Kusek, Danny Swift, Patricia Cook, Shannon Briotti, James Hines, Dean Rogers, Emily and Kim, Uncle Lanny, Sarah Hill, Ruth Rudolph, Rick and Robert Williamson, Mike Donovan, Cindy Bixby, Arden Reed, Cinda O'Connor, Carvel Taylor, Jessica Williamson, Jane Rodriguez, Stan Hopkins and Cliff Lewis, people in our various nursing homes in the area, Hope Matthews, 
Brian Hunt and Heather Hang Hunt, Meredith Guzman, Julius Ventura, Howard Hanchy, Linda Erickson, Amy, Ruth Ann, Pam, Donna, Carol, Bill, and Gloria, Joe Hughes, Martha Gentry, Frank Kelly, Gabe, and Gio, Alan and Carol Ormond, for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world, for peace in our nation and world and an end to violence, for deployed personnel everywhere, for medical and emergency personnel on the front lines for COVID, and for scientists working on solutions and for the distribution of vaccines. So we have all these various prayers for our parish that we're um, really continuing to pray for people. Have we got, we got birthdays or anniversaries? We have two birthdays, no anniversaries, but it's uh, Trey Crockett's Whoa. birthday. Crockett. Okay, cool. Uh, and Heather Sheen. Oh, Heather. Heather, yeah. happy birthday. Yeah, I hope your boys treat you well, Heather, and uh, bake a big cake or do something for you. Uh, I know they're very talented, and uh, I hope they're, they're working for you today. Um, so other than that, uh, just a couple of announcements about what's going on. I said earlier, come and pick up your communion kit or palm uh, before 2 o'clock, and you'll be prepared for Palm Sunday. Uh, right now, we have um, uh, reservation lists out for 8 o'clock service and 10 o'clock. 8 o'clock is already full, I know that, but, um, but watch it because sometimes someone drops out and you can take that slot. At 10 o'clock, we have over 130 people reserved right now. Um, right today, the weather forecast is not looking good, but we are going to have Palm Sunday service at 10 o'clock no matter what. Um, and uh, we may be in the Great Hall, possibly. We are uh, working out the details on that, so watch the emails. And pray that this storm that you see that is moving into our area uh, moves slowly and hits us Monday instead of Sunday. Slow it down. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm going to be talking to Terry Ritter later this day and saying, weatherman, oh weatherman, what can you do? So, um, and he'll say nothing except watch. <laughs> 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 At any rate, uh, we will keep our eye on the weather, but Saturday morning in your Sunday scoop email, look for directions about where that service will be, whether it's outside or in the Great Hall, which is plenty of room for us to do our Palm Sunday service safely. And, uh, and now we have authorization from the diocese to do indoor worship. So, um, so anyway, just watch the email. Watch the email. It may be a poncho and umbrella Sunday, but... Yep. But yep. it's a crucial turning point Sunday as we make that turn into Holy right. Week. And just so, uh, just an advanced word, next week on Monday, we will be having the, uh, instead of noon prayers, which we put out in the email mm. to everybody, instead of noon prayers on Monday, you will have a link to be able to watch the renewal of vows for the ordination of our clergy Old Nation and all the ones in Virginia Beach will be j joining together at noon uh, in Galilee Church, and they are going to stream that service, and we will get you the information so that you can watch that as your discipline on Monday of Holy Week. So it's a tradition for the clergy to renew their vows with their bishop during Holy Week yep. each year, and it's also tradition for lay folks to come uh, to that service and uh, share. Yep. Uh, so and, this will open agreement. it up. That's right. So right. it will open this mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. that uh, that we are mutually doing ministry together, and uh, and you'll get a chance to see what that service looks like. Okay. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We will see you soon.